Hello friends, today I'm looking at the gearbox oil on a Polo 1.2. This car is in need of a gearbox oil change, so I'm going to show you how to drain the oil, how to refill it and how to check the level. There's the fill plug, which I'm putting my socket into now. And the drain plug is here, just below the left hand drive shaft. So here I've got a hex 17mm socket that fits on a half inch socket ratchet. Now with a 55mm long hex socket you can get a ratchet handle on it and there's just enough clearance past this engine stabiliser bar. Now I would suggest that before you take out the drain plug you always make sure that you can get at and undo and take out the fill plug. The last thing you want to do is drain the oil out of the gearbox and then find you can't get any back in. Now here I've got the tool in the drain plug. I'm sure you can see that with this cross member in place, there simply isn't enough room to get a ratchet handle in this socket. So what I'm doing is using a 17mm spanner on the hex and then with the rest of the hex into the uh, drain plug, you can undo it with a spanner. And to get some extra leverage on it, you can see I've put an extra spanner on. Then after using a normal solid ring spanner, I've transferred to using a, a, ratchet, ring sp a ratchet spanner. Once you've got the uh, drain plug loose, use your tool, bring it the rest of the way, take it out gently. You can see now why I much prefer these large wide drain pans. Once you've drained the gearbox oil, Put the uh, drain plug back in. Here's some of the old oil that we've just taken out. As you can see, it's quite thick, black. There's lots of shiny uh, brass particles in it. Um, but it is also quite black and dirty. Compare that to this new oil in this uh, tube, which is a lovely clear golden colour. On most cars, I've found the easiest way to refill the gearbox is to push a tube into the fill hole down there and then and then to uh, put the gearbox oil into the gearbox through the tube. Now the size of the uh, fill plug is such that you can get a tube of up to about 22 millimeter diameter in there. So now I've got the bottle of gearbox fluid into the tube which in turn is stuck through the refill hole on the gearbox and I'm just very gently squeezing the fluid down the tube and into the box. To drain the oil from the gearbox you'll have needed the car on its axle stands and whilst it's up on its stands you can put the first litre of oil in but once you uh, get much beyond that the, the oil starts to come back out of the fill hole because in order to check the level of the gearbox oil the car needs to be on level ground and the gearbox has the right amount of oil in it when it just reaches the bottom of the hole on the inside of the box. With the front of the car raised in the air, the gearbox oil rushes to the back of the box and uh, gives you a false reading. Uh, and in actual fact, if you do it that way, you will end up with a gearbox that's got an insufficient amount of uh, fluid in it. Having uh, made sure that the gearbox is full, there was just a dribble of oil coming back out of the fill hole to tighten the nut once I've got it hand tight I'm using my uh, ratchets not so much difficult as awkward it, it's easy enough to do but it isn't simple uh, but it is worth doing uh, I, I ordinarily change the gearbox oil in in my cars roughly every 50,000 miles I hope you found this video useful and instructive if you did give it a thumbs up put some comments in the box about your own experiences and I'll see you on the other side of that lens sometime soon.